The British-American journalist and editor-in-chief of Vogue, Anna Wincher, grew up in a family with a strong background in journalism. Wincher began her career in fashion journalism in the 1970s and has since become one of the most influential figures in the fashion industry. Hello there everyone and welcome back. Anna Wincher is a private person and hasn't publicly discussed her dating life. As a result, there isn't much known about her romantic relationships, but today, we're looking inside Anna Wincher's mysterious dating history. Anna Wincher's Dating Life There are so many things that Anna Wincher is known for. Wincher has been known for her signature style, including her trademark bob haircut and oversized sunglasses, and has become an icon in the fashion industry. She's been credited with discovering and nurturing many young designers and has been a major supporter of the fashion industry and various charitable causes. Winter's life has been the subject of several documentaries, including the September issues 2009 and the first Monday in May 2016, which offer insights into her life and work as the editor-in-chief of Vogue. Despite being such a huge public figure, there's very less information about the men she's dated throughout the years. We'll tell you everything about the men that were in her life. But before we move on ahead, do be sure to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell if you haven't done so yet. Eric Idle The first man on the list is Eric Idle. Eric Idle is an English comedian, actor, writer, and musician who was born on March 29, 1943. He is best known for being a member of the comedy group Monty Python and for his work on their television show Monty Python's Flying Circus as well as their films such as Monty Python and the Holy Grail and Life of Brian. In addition to his work with Monty Python, Eric Idle has also had a successful solo career as a writer, actor and comedian. He's written several books including The Greedy Bastard Diary, A Comic Tour of America, and The Road to Mars, a postmodern novel. He's also appeared in numerous films and television shows, including The Nuns on the Run, Casualty, and The Simpsons. Eric Idle is also a talented musician and has written and performed many comedic songs, including Always Look on the Bright Side of Life. He's also released several albums, including Monty Python Sings and The Rutland Dirty Weekend Book. Michelle Esteban Next up, we have Michelle Esteban. He's a French musician, music producer, and record label owner who was born on June 3, 1953 in Paris, France. He is best known as the founder of the influential French independent record label ZE Records, which was active from 1978 to 1985 and then reactivated in 2003. During the late 1970s and early 1980s, Michel Esteban played an important role in the development of the No Wave and New Wave music scenes in New York City, where he was involved in producing and releasing music by artists like Lydia Lynch, James Chance and the Contortions, Suicide and Christina. He was also instrumental in launching the careers of several influential French artists, including Lizzie Mercier de Clos, Jack No and Mathematiques Modernes. After ZE Records ceased operations in the mid-1980s, Michel Esteban continued to work in the music industry, producing and releasing records through other labels and working as a music consultant and curator. In 2003, he reactivated ZE Records and began releasing new music, as well as reissuing classic albums from the label's back catalog. Nigel Dempster Anna Winter was also romantically involved with Nigel Dempster. He was a British journalist, author, and broadcaster who was born on November 1, 1941 in Bristol, England and passed away on July 12, 2007. He was best known for his work as a gossip columnist covering the lives and scandals of celebrities and royals in his column The Dempster Column which appeared in the Daily Mail and other newspapers. In addition to his work as a journalist, Nigel Dempster was also a television and radio presenter and he wrote several books, including biographies of Princess Diana and the British royal family. He was known for his close relationships with many high-profile figures, including members of the royal family, and was often criticized for his reporting tactics and invasion of privacy. Nigel Dempster was a polarizing figure in the British media, with some praising him for his entertaining and informative reporting, while others criticized him for his invasive and controversial tactics. Piers Paul Reed even though this wasn't confirmed, Winter had an alleged relationship with British novelist, historian, and biographer Piers Paul Reed. 
He is best known for his novel, A Life, The Story of the Andy Survivors. In addition to his work as a novelist, Pierce Paul Reed has also written several works of non-fiction, including historical and biographical books. Pierce Paul Reed has been recognized for his contributions to literature and history, receiving several awards and honors throughout his career, including the Hawthorne Prize, the Thomas More Medal, and the Golden Grief of the Struga Poetry Evenings in Macedonia. Richard Neville Winter not only dated British intellectuals, but also Australians, and Richard Neville was one of them. He was best known for his work as the editor of the countercultural magazine Oz, which was published in Australia and the United Kingdom during the 1960s and 70s. In addition to his work with Oz, Richard Neville was also a prominent figure in the 1960s and 70s counterculture movement, advocating for political and social change through activism and writing. Richard Neville was known for his controversial and often provocative views as well as his willingness to challenge established norms and conventions. He was a key figure in the development of the countercultural movement in Australia and the United Kingdom and remains an influential figure in the history of political and social activism. Other than these men, according to some sources, Winter also dated the American businessman Shelby Bryant for a brief time. But no one knows if that's true, given the very private personal life of Anna Winter. Well, that about wraps up this video. So what do you think about Winter's extensive dating history? Let us know in the comments down below, and until the next one, take care and goodbye.